Hello everybody, Burton Muffiger here, and we're going to be playing some Kerbal Space Program. Finally. It's been a long time since I made my last video, and I really do like this game. It's probably one among my favorite, all-time favorite games. Um, version 1 just finally came out, and I'm just excited to play it. I did get a couple mods. Um, I can't really tell them all of them off the top of my head. I think there's a... Uh, like some kind of modular mod, um, just parts and, I don't know, you'll just have to see as I'm playing, we'll probably notice some or something. They do add a little more to the game. And with that, I think we're just going to go ahead and start. Um, I do want to make a series of this, and it's actually kind of part of a series already, but I want to make a series of, uh, career mode. I had just been um, hanging back on it. Or maybe not career mode. I might actually do a series of uh, science mode. Uh, career mode, I think, is just a little too much for me. You just gotta do all those missions and stuff. So we'll see. I just like obtaining all the science and unlocking parts and stuff. It's really fun for me. Um, but I did make a couple vehicles and stuff in sandbox and that's what we're gonna check out. I'm gonna show you the vehicles I made and we'll probably make a new one. Alright so first off I started out in the space plane hangar and I built myself a a large lander. And let's we'll see this. It's not running all that good. I thought this would run a little better. It's like rotation or something. Yeah, I don't know. Um, you can see a couple of mods I got. This is from a mod, it's like an RCS thing, I think. It could be from a mod, I'm actually not too sure. Um, this might actually be from the actual game here. This is the scanner. Um, this is a uh, telescope, actually, which is from a mod, which is pretty neat. I just wanted to try it. Um, there is the mining things that I think are just in the game now. Um, let's see if I can move it. There we go. Um, not much, too much else from any mods here. Um, I just got the rapier engines because this is a, um, no atmosphere and atmosphere vehicle. I don't know how well this is going to work even on a no atmosphere, but we'll see. Uh, it's yet to be tested on a place like the, the moon or something. It'll just be cool. I have, uh, like, I got the RCS on it, so those might be enough to take me back off. And, uh, as you can see, I have the, um, large solar panels on here. And if I could bring this back over here, not that way. I don't really know how to maneuver this stupid thing in this, uh, place. Click. Oh my god. Like that. I bet there's a better way. This is the one time I would like people to yell at me and tell me I'm doing something wrong. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Alright, let's go like this. And hopefully we can swing to this side. Grab it. Is that in the same spot? I feel like it's in the same Nope, a little better. You can open the cargo bay, and inside it is a whole bunch of batteries that are attached to storage for the drills. The drills mine the ore and put them in storage, and this is the converter. So hopefully this is a vehicle I could use to go from planet to planet. Now that's better said than done, I'd have to 
you know, I actually see if I can. At least moon to, you know, solar system to solar system. Hopefully, things will work out that way. I'm not all that great yet at this game. And I took quite a long break, so I still might not be all that great. But, this isn't what I want you to see, because this doesn't just fly off from Earth. Even though it's a space plane, it doesn't actually... I think it could actually make it into space and maybe orbit. Maybe. But, I do have a launcher system. Let's see if I can get there. I don't see it. I don't care. Either way. And this is pretty much just experimental. Alright. Now, you guys seen that? I need to do this. For some reason, I can't load without making something first. Don't save. What is going on? Save and continue. Alright. Alright, there's some kind of glitch here. I have no idea what's going on. Alright, let's make a new one. Don't save. Cancel. Go like that. Don't save. Don't save! Damn it! Save and continue. Why is everything. Hmm. I know it's in here. Not too sure what's going on with that. It's not in here either. Oh! Yep, it's right here. It's expensive. It might be more expensive than all these other ones put together. And there's a reason for this. Let me see if I can. I don't have any crew? Did I kill everybody? Oh my god, I'm such a terrible person. I actually truly didn't want to lose my starting four. I think in the new one there's a four starting pilots. Yeah. All right, I want a pilot. Alright, we're going to have Tanda and Kerbin. Slightly not as great as uh, Jebediah. Alright, and let's watch. I don't know what this is going to do to my frame rate, but it's a beast of a craft. Basically, I took my lander and strapped a couple big rockets to it. And it's put in a fashion where these can just come off the sides. And, uh, I do have, <clears throat> one of the things I do have is the recovery mod. So if these land back down, they could be recovered. So in the cur mode, I'd be able to save the resources I spent on them by recovering them. I got the landers on them, which I think is from a mod, maybe? And, uh, parachutes on the top. And hopefully that's enough to make them land. Uh, I, I really can't tell you if that is, though. Might have to test that later. We'll see. Alright, I think hopefully I got everything lined up here. And I'm probably just going to take off. So let's uh, crank up the speed here and let's just go. And my frame rate just died. Please bear with me, people. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be an orientation that might be better suited for frame rates, but there isn't. I think once we get into space, it'll be better. Probably gonna have to tweak the settings a little bit. It's slow to get off the ground, but trust me, this does its job quite nicely. There's only one issue with this rocket that I don't like, is that I can't turn into a orbit at any time sooner than these run out. These have to deplete before I can do any maneuvering. They're too heavy. They're not attached good enough to where they can get jettisoned without fucking it up. Or be moved either.
if I tried to turn right now, it would make these all wobble, and it would just be a catastrophic filler. So we're just going to have to wait. And, um... I'll start maneuvering once we get out of the atmosphere. Ah, just take some time. Get a good look at the mountain range over here. We'll be exploring those in career mode. As you can see, our frame rate is steadily getting better. I'm gonna check something really quick. These are air breathing right now. Let me see if I still have my um try that. And they are close cycle. I'm gonna detach this. No, I can't just take off. I have to wait a second. Or initiate this and try and Stop that, back to staging, and fire. Let's get back and check to see what our... That's pretty good. I'm going to just keep doing this until uh, this comes out to about where the mun is. that up, keep the fuel open. These won't run out of fuel for a long time. I would like to see if those are recoverable. Let's see. Hurry up, 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 come on. And bam, good enough. Now I want to hurry up and jump to this. Switch to go 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 go. What the fuck? Oh, <gasps> oh, they're all alive! Oh my god, recover vehicle! Jesus Christ! Jebediah should have been on this mission. I'm so happy he's alive. Can't stay mad at him. Alright, so let's go back up here. I thought it was going to change me to my, uh, debris that was coming off. Let's see if I could... There we go. Whoa, there. They're not coming back down for a long time. Uh, is there a way to speed this up a little bit? Yep. I'd like to see if we could actually cover those. I deployed the chutes early on purpose. Hopefully... I know they updated a lot of stuff in this, so hopefully it doesn't mean, uh, you know, the shoots are going to get ripped apart or something. Well, I want to focus on this. That guy is a lot faster than those are, so... It'll probably start slowing down about here. So we don't really have to worry too much about... Oh! Shit! All right, back to what we're doing. Let's uh, fly. If there is a problem I have the most, it's being impatient and hitting that fast forward button a lot, way too much. You can see the moon pretty closely here. Doesn't really mean too much because we need to make a. It's actually pretty big. Let's see where's purple man. See an impact crater right here. Whatever. So, um, 
go here and add a maneuver. We're going to just pretty much go like this and like that. And we're going to just try and make this like, uh, oh, we're just going to keep it like this. See how much do we need there? Not very much. Where is it? We're going to do a insane whip around this. And that will be, oh, almost good enough to capture. Let's see. Wrong way. There we go. I think that's pretty good right there. Even though we're not in a perfect orbit with um, the mountain. I just don't really care. I just want to get to the damn thing. We could uh, do worry about that kind of stuff in uh, later version, uh, later videos, and uh, career mode. We're lined up. I'm gonna shut RCFs off. We're going to. Oh, Jesus! Let's see what problem was it? There we go. Imagine if we ran out of electric. Electricity? I doubt we would. I got a lot of them. Um, you know, while I'm just sitting here, let me show this thing off a little bit. Um, yep, I have no idea what it does. Like that, like that. Show galaxies. Um, let's look at the big plate galaxy. Do I need to turn RCS on? Hmm. What right about the purple donkey nebula? Hmm. No, I really don't know how to make that work, actually. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, let's just get rid of this. It's another one of those things we'll have to figure out later. Alright. So in five hours, we need to propel ourselves forward. Speed this up some. I'm being a lot more cautious than I was a second ago. And that's close enough at the moment. Speed it up a little bit. Okay, that's gonna go a little faster. There we go. We're gonna stop a minute ahead of time. There we go. And now we can do our trajectory here. Just go full blast. Got to burn for about 46 seconds. If we get in an orbit that will have us intersect the moon earlier than this point, we'll do it. But this seems like it's going to be the one that gets it. I am not very good at this kind of stuff. I just try to make it work. Right, beautiful upside down thing. Oh shit! Oh, <coughs> I don't know what the heck I was looking at. I was looking to see it get up to this one. It was actually this one we need to get to. Alright, well that still works. Actually, that's better. See, this one it kind of wrapped around close to it. It might actually be the right size, but this one actually goes through it. That means we're heading directly at it. So, nothing wrong there. Let's get rid of our waypoint. And that's our current 
trajectory now. And let's just uh, speed up to where we can get back. Speed up to where you can actually see it. And that's about usually where I'll accidentally fast forward it too much and slam into the damn thing. Alright, come on. Get a little closer. Alright, stop. Yep, directly colliding with it. Now, do I want to land on the moon, or should I just do a... Try and get in the orbit. <laughs> See, why can't I make a maneuver? I really need to make a maneuver here. I'm not, I don't know if I can do this without... Shit. Alright, well we're just going to have to test it. Um, I think the best one would be normal. I need a polar orbit. I need to go like this, up and down, to use my survey scanner so I can refuel on this uh, rock. So let's, let's get into this. There we go. Perfect. No, I don't need a... Uh, No, maneuver node. Alright, stop. And now we're going to need to fix our trajectory. Now I would like a maneuver node. But I think I could fix this one too. Let's go to... I don't know which one means what. Alright, so we're looking at it on our side. This is up. I think that means up is... I really don't know. Alright, well, let's uh, go anti radial and see what that does. Let's turn our RCS on just so we can move a little faster. Pop them off. Once we get close, we can pop them on again. Go. Stop. Pop them back on, stop, pop them on, stop, 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 okay, um, stop. <sighs> um, let's go back to our ship. We're flying straight up that way. So we're going this way, I don't want that one. I think I want to flip over. Hopefully I'm not making a mistake here. Come on, I just need a maneuver node. The frickin' mun's getting really close now. Alright, stop that. I'm using way too much monopropellant. I might need to get some other monoprop um, RCS thrusters, because this one is just a little too... But that's just running it right out. I need that to get off the mun. Alright. One thing I just noticed was that I forgot to put my gear up. I will always forget that. Now we need to land, if we do land somewhere, we need to land on the bright side, but we don't need to worry about that right now. We just need to scan the surface for uh, minerals. So let's see what this does. Let's move it like this. And it's the right way. Everybody clap. Alright, just need to keep following that, anti normal, we still need enough fuel to get home, so we gotta be careful. Alright, that's good, that's good, that's good. That was way too much, actually. Fuck. Oh well. And now I could finally add a maneuver node. Alright, so what we need to do is, after that, we need to just kill our forward momentum. And try and get this in. Got 22 and 58. 
I need less than that. More than that. This. We just need to move them to where I could get them both under 25 at least. Let's see, 24. That one's 38. But now that one's 43. So we need to go like this. I think the easiest thing will be just add another maneuver node and decrease speed here. And now it's 15 and 20. Right, that's a little complicated, so hold on. <laughs> complicated for me. So let's just kind of zoom in there. And hope for the best. We're going really slow. We're basically pretty much just letting the moon run into us. Alright. Definitely don't want to overshoot it. I got this. Alright, 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 alright. We need to go to this, which I should have already done. We got 40 seconds. I'm just going to go ahead and do a light, light, light burn. If you get closer, I'll speed it up. Here we go. Still keeping an eye on my fuel. I need enough liquid fuel left over to make a descent. I'm not using... I don't even have... Uh, Probably a mistake, actually. I don't even have parachutes on my craft. So, yeah. Let's see how that works out for us. Alright, we're almost there. And slow down. Keep going, 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 keep going. Slow down. Alright. That's good. Alright, now hopefully everything works out here, because I don't want to do this for no reason. Alright, come on. Let's speed up. Nope, can't go any faster than this. And... stop. No, we got about a minute. Speed it up just a little bit. And that's good enough. Alright, so we just got burned for 15 seconds. This is nothing. And I fucked up. Let's turn on the RCS so we can hurry and make a quick maneuver. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop. Go. Stop. Go. Stop. Go. Stop. Okay. We can make RCS fuel if we find ore, so. Let's see. Shrink this down. Shrink it down. This is looking really good here. And stop. Okay, I don't think we need to do any more than that. Actually, that's a beautiful orb. I almost want to try and do better. Alright, yeah, let's do better. Oh, 22 and 21. Just try a little better. 22 and 21.47. Try that. 22. Exactly. And 20. You know what? I don't really care. This is where I make my mistakes. I'll try and keep doing it until I completely mess up. So we're going to stop there and go back to our ship. The mun should be in view. And we're completely upside down. And it's kind of making me sick a little bit. Let's put this bad boy over. Actually, I probably need to be down like that. We'll see if it actually needs to be armed. How do I... <sighs> I need to flip my camera. Okay, like shift camera. Whoa, shit! Oh my god! Yep, that did damage. Um... I think that's okay. Alright, let's turn 
<sighs> our shield on our uh, scanner, and we're gonna perform a orbital. Must be in a stable polar orbit. Twenty-five km and one thousand km. Twenty-five km. Hmm. God. What is a polar orbit anyway? I'm gonna have to look this up. I mean, that looks about right to me. Goes over the poles. Maybe I'm overthinking that. Yeah, it's not really what that means. So now I have to decide here if I actually want to land. Yeah, let's do it. Um, I want to land on the bright side of the moon. Or at least something with light. So let's try and aim for here. Where are we? I think I'm heading... God, the camera is at a really shitty... Stuck in a really crappy spot right now. I can't do anything. Alright, I think we're going south. And that's all dark. So, we might try and land on the light. We'll stop here, and maneuver, and start decreasing speed. And I want to land... Like there, maybe. I don't know how. I don't know how good that's gonna be. Hopefully that ends up in the light a little more. Or it might not even change. Let's speed it up and find out. Mm -hmm. And I just exploded for some reason. Uh, was I too low? Well, that was under that thing. What am I? So, oh. Am I still orbiting or am I just drifting now? What am I looking at? Do I have any debris? Wow, good thing we didn't have Jebediah, huh? I mean, I'm sorry for whoever just, you know, exploded. Okay, let's go see what survived. Maybe there's a positive side. Let's uh, set focus to this and find it. Nope, no positive side. Alright. Oh, well. I guess back to the Space Center. And like I said, I'm going to try and make one more vehicle. It's just going to be an airplane. I really like airplanes in this game. I like the rockets and stuff, but airplanes are probably the funnest for me. Well, nah, I don't know. They're both both the same, actually. All right, we're going to make something just insane. Let's uh, find something here. Need a fuel tank. I think I want to do like a. Yeah, it's probably like that, but I want to take out. Mm, you know, let's have like. Half the fuel up in that spot and half in the other. I don't want to go too. They don't want to make it too heavy. Alright, there we go. Now I want this piece. But this is just an attachment, so I want to get rid of all the fuel altogether. And we're going to have some powerful rockets on the back. Uh, or jets, I should say. Um, let's 
Something's telling me that's not enough. Yeah, not enough. Alright, we need to get something. this. Bam. I think those are facing the right direction. Nope, they're definitely facing the wrong direction. Alright. I think I used these before and I actually didn't notice that. I think they need to go like this. And we need some way to get air. I want the... Actually, I want ramjets on the front. Where are they? Okay, there they are. Bam. And we could get regular air through these structural ducts. Alright, right there. So we get regular air in there, we get this kind of compressed air from those. We need some fuel transfer here. Let's just go like this. Um, try to make an eye even noticeable. Is that even. Yeah. Alright. have some more of those engines on there and now we got some a little too powerful almost looks like all right now we need some wings I really want these big ones on here but they just don't work these things look funny that actually be hilarious I almost want to try those you know that actually looks kind of neat And actually, I didn't snap these. I want these snapped. There we go. Let's get on. Um, we need those on. We need just a little tail fin. That's what I'm gonna do. Not the craziest. Oh, that thing looks stupid. Alright, we need to get some else. Um. How's that thing look? Actually, I like that. I like that a lot. It makes her wings look a lot more stupid. Now, I'm not really too sure. We actually need to bring these wings. God, unreasonably back. What the heck? If I go up just like there, this is not just not touching. I'll put a little something else. Show these winglets, and I don't think that actually does enough. So I rotate them. Nope. Leave them there anyway, and bring these back just a tiny bit. And I think that does it. It's about as good as we're gonna get it. There's too much weight in the back. Which actually means we could just do this. Yeah, there we go. Put these up here. Alright. This is built to go fast. I think all we need is wheels. for me. 
No, I think I want them actually. I, th I can't remember exactly how it worked. I think you need them here, actually. You need them at like a point, I think, where you could change the nose. But I usually have it set, uh, aligned in such a way where... Oops. Nope. There we go. Usually have it lined in such... <sighs> in such a way that you can pretty much take off without even taking off. Hmm. Those are going on a little bit. There we go. Perfect. And let's fly it. Now we should call it something. Hmm. I'm gonna call it the white bird of death. Mark one. And let's select our guy. Just jump. We don't need all of them in there. Let's see what this bad boy does. I don't think I've forgotten anything. It's kind of hard to forget stuff from this. And that is perfect to me, so let's go. I know how these double wings with they can move is gonna work out. Jesus. Oh my god, we're going way too fucking fast. Holy shit. Faster. Whoa. Oh, Jesus, I think actually I read about this. I think it could explode. It's, uh... Oh, oh, yep. What's going on here? Alright, let's fly up a little bit. Let's get out of the... confines... of lower atmosphere and see if we could really pick up speed in the upper atmosphere. Surprised it didn't explode right there. I think there's actually temperature. And those things, I think, actually hit it. Oh, Jesus, we're getting hot again. It actually got a lot hotter a lot quicker that time. I think we're just about there. About 20,000 feet. I think we're at a good place to try and see how fast we can go. We're losing a lot of control though. Try and just get this bad boy to go straight. Our engines are going to cut out if we go any higher. Could actually point down. Oh, there we go. I think we got enough speed where we could actually. Okay, we need to point down, god dang it. There we go. Alright, right there. Come on. Keep it there. Alright, we're quickly picking up speed now. I don't really know if that's because we're aiming down a little bit. Let's pull the nose up a little bit. There we go. A little unstable. Some weird stuff's going on. We actually went a lot faster. And, uh... Alright, we need to point ourselves into the prograde because we're going to start burning up. I might see how fast this thing can go now. If there's a place to do it, I think it's here. Holy cow! Holy cow, look how fast! 
Oh, Jesus, it's burning up. Look at that. We're going... We're almost... Go. Oh. Our final speed was about 1,400. Oh, we're still not burning up, though. That was about it. Oh, my fucking gears aren't up. Does that cause... Does that cause any problems? That might cause some problems. Let's see. Oh, we lost something else. What was that? Ha! Huh. Freak. <laughs> it's alive! Oh my god, maybe we could use the sass. Alright, come on. Sass, sass, sass. Alright. There is a way to do this. Uh, we don't have enough sass. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. We need to slow down. Come on, man. There we go. Oh, actually, I think we have to go this way. Come on. Come on. All right, I don't think it's gonna happen. You could actually fly your vehicle without wings. But we don't have enough sass. All right. Let's see if we can prove this. Um, let's get rid of our wings. We need enough, I don't know. I don't know if this is possible. We just need to get it. Okay. Alright, we still got a center lift. What's that from? So we need to get the weights as close to here as possible. Let's go like this. But the thing with this is, we need to get this back and actually. Man. Oh. Is that a reaction wheel that just flips this? I think these might do it. Let's go with a few of these. These might add more sass. Let's see. Right, but we need some batteries now, because without batteries, we're not even going to have that work. Um, I think we need some jumbo batteries. To bring saddle the liquid fluid back here until it's right. No, it's actually wrong. We need to put make this a little lighter. Nope. Nope. I just gotta bring the wings, the uh, weight back a little bit. Or for it, I mean. There we go. Well, almost perfect for this. And, uh, looks like my things disappeared, so I need to put those back. She wish where are those going? That way? Maybe these go like this. Alright. Let's try this. Wingless. I don't know about this. I don't know if... Fuck. I've... I've... Uh, control. Oh shit! Oh shit! 
It's flying. Damn, I didn't think it was going to work. Yeah, I'd slow down. I was just getting too fast for it. Okay. Alright, so... Uh, wow. I cannot believe that works. What's got the lift? Someone was giving it lift that I don't know what it was. Let's bring our gear up. Well, there you have it, folks. I don't know if anybody's actually ever built a wingless aircraft uh, plane before. These weren't contributing. I took them off and they weren't... They didn't do anything. It's not stable at all. And we're gaining altitude. I'd call that successful. Actually, so successful I almost want to take a screenshot. Let's, uh... There we go. Right, let me get the first shot out of the way. Screenshot. What, what the hell? Oh, neat. I don't know what that does, but I saw it. Ugh. Oh, there's a temperature screen, too. Cool. Temperature gauge is enabled. Uh, I have a button that takes pictures. Alright, no, I don't. Alright, I'm just gonna use print screen. So let's get a good. There we go. Let's get that picture of that base in there. Wingless aircraft. Should we land there? All right. We can't do too crazy maneuvers like I usually do, so we're gonna slow down. I think the problem with this is we're not gonna be able to land. This craft might have to go way too quick to keep doing what it's doing. And then I'm going to start, after we go back to, I'm going to start taking apart things and finding out where that lift is coming from. Let's, uh, start slowly turning around. I don't know if I'm going to land at that base. We'll find out when we get there. I feel like we could easily stall at any time. We're pretty much just dropping like a rock, I think, right now. Uh, an aerodynamic rock. Save myself. I don't know if we're gonna be able to land this. It'd be cool. I'd have a way better shot landing on anywhere here. This is gonna be a long shot. I'm gonna be able to set up. I can't do it though. All right, I'm just gonna have to pitch my nose up at the last second to kill all speed, but also get as much lift as I can. <sighs> well, if anybody's watching this, let me know if this is the first uh, wingless. I mean, I'm gonna look it up obviously right after I'm done. But let me know if this is the first wingless uh, airplane, space plane, that's on here. I would like to know. Why don't we all want to know? Pretty sure we would. I didn't think this was actually going to work. I know you could steer your aircraft with the uh, aerodynamic properties, but I didn't think you could actually you know, fly the aircraft with said properties. Right. This is where it's all going to go really bad or really good. I wish I went further back. I think my biggest problem is I don't give myself enough space to line up properly. I always make a thousand changes at the last second. Alright, we're steadily declining in height. We need to start dropping more like a rock instead.
I like the smoke because it gives us a little bit of an idea which way, um, how fast we're dropping. Our momentum's obviously coming down like this. Oh shit, we're really dropping like a rock. Okay, get up, get up. I don't know, guys. I might have screwed the pooch on this one. No tail fin, I can't really adjust the way I like to adjust. Alright, there we go. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, man. I'm dropping so quickly. I really don't know. Alright, turn the brakes on because I'm going to forget it at the last second. I know I am. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need the... Alright, turn it into forward momentum. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. I need, like, air brakes. Nope, I'm going too high. Alright, I think I fucked this up. Alright, we're going to do a maneuver. And try coming back around. This is definitely it right here. No, oh, I gotta stop my fucking vehicle. Okay, get down, get down, get down, get down. Alright, I'm just going for it. Geronimo! Wrong way. Alright. I had to board that one too. We're getting close. See how close we're getting? That was actually pretty gentle. That was a good uh, show that I'm gonna be able to probably do this. I probably messed it up at the last second. Alright. I don't want to come too high up with my nose. So I need to get closer to the ground still. Oh, I changed too much of my mo momentum in the wrong direction. Oh my god! You can do it, Jeb! And avoid Jeb! God dang it! Alright, here we go. Oh man, I don't know about this. He's probably saying the same thing though. Oh! Watch out for the tower! Shit! Oh god. You can survive, Jeb. You can still survive. No, you can't. Quick! Revert! Revert! Hopefully you didn't lose him. Well, as you guys can see, it's definitely doable. I was just trying to land in the worst possible way. There you go. You can fly it without wings. So now let's find out what's giving it the lift that makes it fly. So I don't even know if there's something that's on it. Oh, let's get rid of the batteries. I don't think that was it. Get rid of these. Nope. Wheels. No. Not those either. Hmm. It's just the aircraft itself. The front's got all the lift. Huh. Who'd have thought? It's the nose front. Let me see if this has a lift. Doesn't. Let's put this one back. Yeah, but it doesn't have lift now. Oh, yeah, it does. Alright, so that one's got lift. That one's obviously not really... Nope. Uh, this one have lift? Would you like to see this fly without? So it's only that one. Well, there you have it, people. 
we found out not only flew a uh, oh that one's got it we not only flew a wingless airplane but we found out what caused it to be wingless it is only these two aerodynamic parts that make it happen so that's about it I'm gonna leave it here uh, that was the white bird of death and uh, see you guys next time take care